What is auto start stop and automatic transmission? How does it works? Components. Frequently asked questions. What is auto start stop and automatic transmission? In automatic cars the system is a lot easier to use. It activates when the car is stationary and the driver puts their foot on the brake. When the accelerator is pressed, in some models when the foot comes off the brake, the engine fires up again. How does it works? At a stop. The engine stops automatically at a vehicle stop by stepping on the brake pedal. The idle stop system shuts off the engine when the vehicle stopped. At a start. The engine starts automatically when taking one's foot off the brake pedal. The starter generator pulls electricity from the battery or a capacitor. Charging. The starter generator converts mechanical energy from the engine into electricity. Stopping. Regenerative braking use energy from the wheels to turn the starter generator, slowing the vehicle and generating electricity which is stored in the battery or capacitor. At a crossing. The engine starts automatically when the steering wheel is turned or the brake pedal is released when the engine stopped. On a slope. The hill start assist system works when on steep slopes and prevents the vehicle from rolling backward. The engine does not stop when on steep slopes. During a traffic jam. When an auto start stop vehicle repeatedly starts and stops, or drives less than 5 km per hour, the engine does not stop automatically. When parking. When an auto start stop vehicle is driven forward or backwards repeatedly while staring when parking. The engine does not stop automatically to ensure smooth parking. Components Engine Control Unit The engine controller coordinates the start-stop processes and harmonizes them with the engine management system. AGM Battery Start-stop systems require a battery with modern technology, because normal starter batteries are not designed to meet the higher demands of these vehicles, for this reason. Only FB or AGM batteries should be installed in vehicles with automatic stop-start systems. The start-stop cars requires the use of specific batteries delivering a stronger starting power and accepting more charging cycle. The start-stop batteries are equipped with the new technology, absorbed glass mat, to last long and deal with repetitive starting your vehicle. They are designed to accept 3 to 4 times more charge cycles than standard batteries. AGM or absorbent glass mat is an advanced lead acid battery that provides superior power to support the higher electrical demands of today's vehicles and start stop applications. AGM batteries are extremely resistant to vibration, are totally sealed, non spillable, and maintenance free. AGM offers better cycling performance, minimal gassing, and acid leakage when compared with conventional lead acid batteries. Important Aspects of Battery Service for Vehicles with Start-Stop Systems Replacement of AGM with AGM EFB with EFB or AGM Conventional lead acid battery cannot be used. Frequently, deployment of a control unit diagnostics tester is necessary to register the newly installed battery at the control unit. AGM Battery Benefits Vibration Resistance Non-spillable and maintenance-free. Greater mounting flexibility. AGM battery disadvantage. Higher initial investment. DC-DC converter. The DC-DC converter for start-stop system supplies stable voltage in order to protect onboard equipment such as the audio system, navigation system, and meters against this voltage drop. The 12 volt DC DC converter can be easily installed in networks to stabilize selected sensitive electronics. 12 volt battery voltage is passed through the DC DC converter during bypass, normal, operation. The DC DC converter receives ignition and crank information from a master electronic control unit. Crank information starts and stops the conversion phase. A diagnosis output informs the master ECU about the operating condition of the DC-DC converter. Battery Sensor The electronic battery sensor REBS is a central part of the electronic energy management. Installed in the terminal recess of the battery, it precisely and dynamically registers operating data such as power, voltage, and temperature. 
With the measured values, it monitors the performance capability of the battery and determines its capability to store and supply energy. The electronic battery sensor is attached to the negative terminal of a 12-volt lead-acid battery with a terminal clamp and connected to the vehicle's body by a screw-on ground cable. The electronic battery sensor measures the current, voltage and temperature of 12-volt lead-acid batteries with great precision. The battery status tracking algorithm integrated into the EBS calculates the current and predicted state of charge and function of the battery from these base parameters and indicates battery aging effects. This information is passed on to a higher level control unit, for example the electrical power management system. If needed, that system implements suitable measures to ensure the power supply to ancillaries that are important or critical to safety and to serve other purposes. For example maximizing battery life by avoiding deep discharge or supporting fuel and CO2 saving technologies such as start-stop, coasting or recuperation. Auxiliary Electric Cool and Pump The cool and pump is integrated in the cooling circuit, low temperature, and is used for the charge air cooling. Communication from the cool and pump to the engine control is affected via local interconnect network bus. During a period of automatic shutdown, the conventional coolant pump, actuated by the engine, remains stopped. When it is cold, there is a risk that the temperature of the passenger compartment will drop to levels that compromise the comfort of its occupants, if the set temperature cannot be reached. To solve this problem, an auxiliary electric coolant pump has been integrated into the cooling system whose mission is to circulate the latent heat stored in the system around the heating radiator to prolong the period of comfort during engine stops. This pump is mounted next to the bulkhead of the engine compartment, and is wired directly with the ECM engine control module. Alternator Its outstanding performance makes the efficiency line alternator ideal for use in start-stop systems. As their high output permits rapid charging of the battery, efficiency line alternators are particularly efficient at low engine speeds. This means that after every stop the battery is sufficiently recharged in a very short period of time to permit restarting without any loss of vehicle power. Efficiency line alternators for start-stop systems generate more electrical energy for supply of the vehicle's electrical system even in the low-speed range and directly after the vehicle has been started. In conjunction with the powerful battery, they increase the availability of the start-stop function. The new generation of high-performance efficiency line alternators cuts fuel consumption and CO2 emissions by up to 2%, good news for motorists and the environment alike. The further enhanced electrical design and the optimized materials employed for the efficiency line alternators make it possible to achieve an unprecedented degree of efficiency of 77%. As their high output permits rapid charging of the battery. Efficiency line alternators are particularly efficient at low engine speeds. This means that after every stop the battery is sufficiently recharged in a very short period of time to permit restarting without any loss of vehicle power. Advantages Efficiency Line Alternators Outstanding performance even at low engine speeds. Higher output and lower fuel consumption. Greater efficiency, above 70%. Dash up to 77% with optional, high efficiency diode technology. Low noise. Starter motor. This special application is based on a starter motor service life involving a greatly increased number of starting operations. The optimized design enables the starter motor to cope with more frequent starting over the vehicle lifetime. Starter Heavy Duty Starter A new starter, a ring gear and a double mass flywheel friction plate specially designed for intensive use. The demand to which these components are subjected has tripled due to the higher frequency of engine starting, so the durability of these components is an essential condition for the correct operation of the stop-start system and reliability. Advantages of Start-Stop Starters Reinforcing the highly stressed bearing points Further enhancement of the planetary gear unit. Employing a heavy duty meshing mechanism. Optimizing the commutator for a longer service life. Seat belt buckle switch. When the engine is running, a switch off inhibitor is set and the engine is not stopped. 
If the engine is off the automatic engine start stop is deactivated. A restart is possibly solely by using the start stop button. The automatic engine start stop uses the seat belt buckle switch to identify whether the driver's three point automatic reel belt is closed. If the driver's three point automatic reel belt is not closed, the automatic engine start stop reacts differently according to the driving condition. Automatic engine start stop button. The automatic engine start stop function button can deactivate the automatic engine start stop function at any time. Start stop button. Automatic engine start stop function button. Bonnet contact switch. Bonnet contact switch. Engine compartment lid catch front left. Two pin plug connection. The engine compartment lid contact switch is included in the calculations of the automatic engine start stop as an input signal. If the engine compartment lid is open, the engine is not started or stopped by the automatic engine start stop. Note. Depending on the series and the version, there is the engine compartment lid contact switch with service position. In the service position, the engine compartment lid contact switch simulates a closed engine compartment lid. An automatic engine start can therefore be carried out by the automatic engine start stop in the service position of the engine compartment lid contact switch. Frequently asked questions. Does auto start stop damage your starter? The answer is no. The starter used for start stop systems combines several technologies. Stop start systems aren't as potentially damaging as cold starts, though, simply because the engine isn't cold. If the engine is off long enough to reduce engine temperature significantly, the engine will automatically restart. Does auto start stop drain your battery? Stop start technology is increasingly common generally works well and helps to keep down fuel consumption and emissions. In addition, in many stop-start cars the battery has a higher capacity, so it takes longer to drain, and the starter motor is made more robust to cope with the extra demand. What is different about start-stop battery? The start-stop battery has a double load. The case is different for cars with start-stop technology. If the car is stationary at traffic lights with the engine stopped, Electrical consumers such as lights, windshield wipers, radio or displays still need power. The load is increased by continuous discharge and charging. Do start-stop cars have two batteries? Start-stop systems require a battery with modern technology, because normal starter batteries are not designed to meet the higher demands of these vehicles. For this reason, only EFB or AGM batteries should be installed in vehicles with automatic stop-start systems. Why has my start-stop stopped working? One of the reasons. Wrong battery technology has been installed, which can only provide a small number of charging cycles. The outside temperature is too high or too low. If the battery needs too much power to supply the fan, the start-stop function is switched off. The engine temperature is too high or too low.